welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Rachel and I make travel vlogs and travel tip videos. And this video is going to be for anyone who is planning on traveling to Barcelona, Spain anytime soon. I was there recently and I had an amazing time exploring the city with all of its awesome parks and architecture. I also had a lot of fun just walking through the city and exploring all the alleyways and just kind of getting lost and absorbing the city, but you can't walk everywhere in Barcelona and you're probably gonna have to take the metro. If you have any worries about using this public transportation, don't worry, because I'm here to help. I have anxiety and maybe you do too, whether it's social anxiety like me or just general or travel anxiety, and you like to know exactly what to expect when you travel, I'm here to help. Personally, I like to know exactly what to expect when I travel. And one thing that I often worry about is using public transportation. I don't use any kind of public transportation in my normal day to day day-to-day -day life but when I travel I use it a lot because it's affordable and it actually is really easy and Barcelona is no different so I'm gonna just give you a little walk through step-by-step -step, super simplified so you know exactly how to use the metro in Barcelona and you don't have to worry about it when you go on your trip First of all, before we get into the steps, I want to suggest that you download the Barcelona Metro app. I used that on my trip and it helped a ton. You just put in the location where you are and then where you wanna go and it gives you the exact route so you know what lines to get on, where to transfer and all of that. It's very, very helpful and it's free. So again, make sure you download download that before you get to Barcelona. All right, now let's get into the step-by-step process. Okay, first step is obviously to buy a ticket. I'm not going to get into ticket prices or specifically how to buy tickets at the machine or the kiosk because I didn't do that. What I did was I bought an Ola Barcelona card ahead of time and I just picked this up at the airport at like the tourist services counter. So it was really simple and easy to just order it online and pick it up there. I didn't have to worry about buying tickets day to day or anything like that as I travel through Barcelona. So it was really convenient. They have it based on day. So you can do a two day up to a five day ticket and then you have unlimited travel for that amount of time. Just be aware that the counter at the airport isn't open 24 seven. So you might have to wait till it opens. I had to wait a little bit to get my tickets, but it was a very seamless process and I was able to get into the city right away. All right, after you have your ticket, you're gonna go through the little turnstile, I guess you could call it. You're gonna put your ticket in the slot. It's gonna go through and pop back up. Make sure you grab your ticket again as you walk through and then you're in the station and you can put your ticket away. Make sure you don't lose it if you're using a reusable ticket like I did. The stations are really easy to navigate and there's a ton of signs. So even if there's a lot of lines going through the same station, you don't have to worry about finding your way. After you find the platform, you're just gonna have to wait until the metro comes in. There's usually a digital sign board that says how many minutes until it comes. And then once it arrives, the doors open automatically and you can board take a seat or stand if it's crowded. There's going to be a lit display on the wall with all of the stops and they're gonna light up as you move. So you'll know exactly when you come to your stop. You can also look out the window and see on the wall of each platform the name of that stop. So again, you'll know where you are. Once you disembark, you're going to look at the signs on the wall and they're going to point you wherever you need to go. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's left, depending on if you are going to exit or if you're going to transfer lines. Again, I suggest using the app. I always take a screenshot of it so I can look back on it easily and know exactly which stop I need to go to next, which color the line is and all of that. Once you do exit, you're going to just walk right through the turnstile. You don't have to put your card through again or anything like you do in some metro and public transportation systems in other cities. And then you're free. You're gonna walk back up out into daylight and continue to explore Barcelona. I hope that this walkthrough helped. Go ahead and give it a like if it did. 
and in the comments let me know if you have any other questions about traveling in Barcelona, budgeting, and all that kind of good stuff and I will help you out. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe as well for more future videos about travel and all that good stuff and I will see you next time. Bye!